In this video, I'll show you how I've created this intro section for my dashboard. What you add to this section is of course very individual, but I'll show you what our household prefers and hopefully you can come up with some ideas for yourself. I've been spending a bit of time lately completely redesigning my whole dashboard. It's similar to before, but I've got some new and in my opinion, clever ideas. I'll make a video about it soon, but as you can see, it's not fully finished yet. I'm using Paper Buttons Row to create this, and as always, the full code can be found on the Gumroad link in the description. I'm going to start by adding a Paper Buttons Row card. You could just select any card, then go into the code editor and change the type to Custom Paper Buttons Row. I'm now going to add two buttons and style these buttons so we can just copy-paste them for the rest of the content we're adding. For most of these buttons, I will use Layout Name, and the name will just be some text. The button that is displaying the weather temperature and an image uses the name Icon Layout. For this button, I will add my weather entity. I'm going to be using the temperature for the name and the image for the icon. You might have a different weather sensor with attributes that are called something else. So this Jinja code might have to be different for you. You just have to use the dev tools and figure out what works for you. I often use AI to create these Jinja codes and that works really well. The Jinja code for the icon will be the same. Just have to change it to a different attribute. Styling is quite basic. For the buttons that will act as a link, I want a white background. If that doesn't suit your dashboard, you should use something else. My theme has a variable called gray 1000, and it just means that it's maximum contrast from the background color. On the light version of the theme, the button would then be black. I also round out the borders and add some small padding. Then I give the name a color. This time I use gray 100, which will be black with my theme. Lastly, to get the buttons to behave the way we want and to be aligned like a sentence, we need to add some flex rules. I set flex basis to 1, flex shrink to 0, and display to flex. You will probably get away without these rules, but I like to add them. They just make sure that the buttons don't scale and act weird. For the first button, the one that is just some text, I'll add the same flex basis and shrink rules. And I make the text white using my variable. Now we can add some overall styling. This is sort of the wrapper styling. The most important rule is to set justify content to flex start. That aligns all the buttons to the left. I also set flex wrap to wrap. It makes it so that new buttons can move on to the next line. I set a relatively big font size of 1.4 EM and a line height of 1.2 EM. I add some small margins up and down. You might not need that, but it depends on your dashboard layout. And I make sure it's 100% wide. Now that we have the buttons ready, it's just copy paste and adjust to your need. If you have a lot of text after each other, it's sometimes helpful to split it up into multiple buttons because it won't move one word from a button onto the next line, but it will move a button down if it needs to. Here, you just have to figure out for yourself what kind of information you want to display. What's important to us is weather, electricity usage and cost, and finally calendar events. The only button that uses an image or icon is the first weather button I created. For the rest of the buttons, I will just use the name, but I add emojis to make the buttons a bit more interesting. Here's the first button that includes a conditional emoji. It's just a simple if-else Jinja code. If our electricity usage is more than 4000 watts, display a emoji. If it's less, display a different one. I have a template sensor that counts how many lights are currently on. There's probably a better way to do this, but the best and most accurate method for me was to actually add all the lights into a list and count them. I just have to remember to manually add new lights. The trickiest code that I've used for this is the Jinja code that filters out and count today's calendar events. I used Claude AI to create this, and I'll just paste the code in the description if you want to use it. It works if you have followed my other video about calendar cards in your dashboard. And that's basically it for this one. I use this at the very beginning of my dashboard, slightly different of course because mine is in another language. For the white buttons I've added a bubble card pop-up navigation action, so clicking them reveals more info related to that button. Hope you learned something or at least got some inspiration. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.